By the end of this video, you're gonna feel way more confident making your own content calendar and social media strategy for the year, regardless of how many templates you download or how many programs of AI you use to make a content calendar for you. There is no shortcut to sitting down and making one for yourself that works for you, your team, and your process. Your content calendar must be three things. It must be simple, agile, and work in an already existing system. These three things will allow you and hopefully help you to use this content calendar, not just for a few weeks at the beginning of the year, but throughout the year, okay? So let's break down simple. When I say your content calendar should be simple, I mean that it shouldn't have so much information that there's pressure for your content calendar to be something that it's not. It's not a task list and it's not a complete marketing strategy for you and your team. It's just a calendar that answers when you should start and complete things that you want to accomplish. And to do this, we wanna divide our year long digital strategy or marketing strategy into three separate parts. The first thing we wanna do is we want to make quarterly goals. This is the moment where you want to go to your boss or whoever you need to make this for and ask them what their quarterly goals are. You wanna know what their quarterly goals are for the brand and you wanna know what their quarterly goals are specifically for marketing. This will put the pressure on them or your boss or on you to know exactly what you want to accomplish that quarter. So when it comes to making your content calendar, it has a clear objective. Now that we have the year div divided into four, let's divide into 12. Let's write down monthly goals. I write this out as monthly important dates and goals because it's important to keep in mind holidays, anniversaries, and the way I frame this is write down things that are an excuse to celebrate. Your followers, the people that know your brand or that purchase your brand will wanna party with you at any moment. So what you're looking for are monthly excuses to celebrate with your following. And you wanna write all those down. Christmas, um, Black Friday sales, um, New Year's, your anniversary for your business. If there's a holiday for your specific niche business like one of our clients is an acai bowl shop. National Acai Day is a big deal. We wanna make sure that's on the calendar for a monthly goal to make sure something is going out regarding that holiday. You can't avoid it. Christmas, Thanksgiving, all those major holidays will influence how you do marketing and when you do marketing. It's important to have those days written down. That your content calendar is just a weekly breakdown of your monthly goals, which is just a monthly breakdown of your quarterly goals. And that is the gist of making a very simple content calendar. Your task list is the step farther, who is doing this and what specifically are they doing to accomplish our weekly goals. We've written down specifically what needs to happen for a content calendar. But as the deadline comes up, as things move forward, things will have to change and will have to be agile. Which brings me up to my second point. Now to do this, to be agile, what I suggest is having a quarterly meeting to talk about your quarterly goals, have a monthly meeting to anticipate next month's goals, and have a weekly check-in to make sure everything is happening. Now, if you're the boss or you're the owner or you're the entrepreneur making this happen, that's on you. If you're the employee having to make the content calendar for the business and you don't have that structure where you're meeting with your boss or whoever is coming up with the goals quarterly, monthly, or weekly, that's fine. Try to see if you can find a way to do that at least once a quarter. That way you know how to be intentional with your time when it comes to making a content calendar. Now, I suggest these meeting times out of experience. I've noticed that content calendars or teams that meet quarterly to discuss goals, to dream big, teams that meet monthly to make sure they're ahead of next month's content necessities, and teams that check in weekly to make sure everything's going smoothly, continue to use a content calendar and are one step ahead when it comes to creating content. Before I move on, really quick, I wanna relieve the pressure off you to think that every business out there is six months ahead, eight months ahead, 12 months ahead of their content. Rarely is a business ever more than three months ahead of their content. Lastly, I've said the word system already a bunch of times, but I want to reiterate. This content calendar should not exist on an app or on a platform that you don't already use or don't already plan on using for other things. 
We use Notion because we use this app for our tasks. We use this app for other planning internally, externally, and with our clients. We already using this app for a lot of other things. And for us, this fits with our system. If you use Google, use Excel, use Google Docs even if you have to. It doesn't matter where this exists. Don't be fooled by how pretty this looks. You need to have something that works for you and that your team will continue to use moving, moving forward. And if that's on an app that no one's heard of or an app that doesn't look cool, that's okay. It just needs to exist in your system because it's more important that you use this than it is for it to look good and then for you to stop using it. If you need help doing this, this is overwhelming. You have more specific questions about your niche industry. We'd be more than happy to help. Send us a DM or an email. You can find us on Instagram or on TikTok at Juicebox Creative. And you can email me personally at Federico at JuiceboxCreative.com. It doesn't matter when you do this. We're releasing this so that you can get ready for 2023. But if you're watching this halfway through the year, don't be overwhelmed or don't feel like you can't start whenever. It's more important that you start now. Do this now whenever you're watching this. Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.